Now, uh, in all the questions which we have done earlier, we have seen that all the numbers were perfect square already. Now, what if the number is not a perfect square? So that time either you have to subtract some number okay, to get the perfect square or either you have to add some number to the number to make it a perfect square. So this is the question. You have to find the least number which must be subtracted from each of the number so as to get a perfect square okay and uh, also find the square root of the perfect square so obtain so here the number is 1987 so let's see first step is the same whenever you have to add or subtract that time you have to use the division method okay and whenever you have to multiply or divide you have to find the number by which you can multiply or divide so that time you will use the prime factorization method so now first step is the same that is pairing so here pairing done now 19 is closest to 4 for the 16 so 19 is closest to 16 so here what we will get here we will get 3 and 8 9 will come as it is all these steps are clear I now then you will add 4 4 so it will be 8 now what we will do now we will find the number which is nearest to this now here you have to think uh, 8 and here the number is 389 okay so 8 times 4 is 32 okay so let's check with 4 so 4 for the 16 we will get here and then 4 8 the 32 so we'll get 33 okay if we'll take 5 then uh, here also we have to take if we'll take 5 here so here also we have to take 5 so in that case 5 is a 40 okay so that will be very bigger so you have to take 3 and this number is also smaller than that so here we will take 4 okay so 44 now what we will get 3 3 6 so now what we will get 3 here and here we will get Five. okay so after subtracting we got 53 so if we will subtract this 53 from which number from this number then we will get 0 here okay so if we will subtract 1 9 from 1 9 8 9 if we will subtract 53 then whatever the number we will get that will be the number which will be a perfect square so here after subtracting 1989 we will get uh, 1936 okay now uh, you know now this 1936 is the square of which number 44 so now your new number is 1936 equals to 44 square okay and the number which you have subtracted is which one the number to be subtracted is 53 okay number to be subtracted 53 okay and new number is 1936 so this way you will do this, this question